absolutely nothing but it does wonders for me it helps me get this videos to as many people as possible I am recording in my bathroom so the sound might not be great but one thing for sure the video is good quality today because your girl has a new phone and I have a new phone so that's the first thing life update is what we're doing today I haven't done one I feel like in a minute so let's get right into it Okay, let's start with, uh, I'm from church by the way, so I'm going to take off, I actually did my makeup today in church, so I'm going to take off my makeup as I talk. Um, phone, I got a new phone um, because I needed a new phone, but also I didn't, I was told at my office that the company pays for your data and your plan to a certain percentage. So they don't pay the full price, but they they pay up to a certain percentage. So I was like, you know what, this is really good. This is what I actually need. So that's what we did. I got myself an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I just felt like, let's get it, get the best one, the latest one. And yeah, I was so excited. I did an unboxing on my TikTok. I was so excited. Like I'll, I'll maybe put it up, a picture or something. Uh, it's a white one. Uh, hey, so uh, that's number one. Number two, your girl has been on hinge. I don't know why I'm on hinge, guys. I have no idea. I think probably because uh, Usandi, my housemate, who has moved out now, I have a new housemate, Fiona. Um, I was on the dating app and then I left and then I came back and then I left. To be honest with you, it's actually out of boredom most of the time. But I'm just like, ah, I don't know what to do, which is horrible. Like, it's actually really bad. It's actually really horrible. But it's because I get bored sometimes, you know? Like, I have church, I have school, and I have a couple of friends, but life happens and everybody's busy. So, and also, I've been broke. So, I haven't been trying to go out as much to save costs. I recently bought my flight tickets to South Africa, so I've been trying to minimize cost of going out. So when I am bored, I now, all of a Sunday, go on Hinge. So I was on Hinge for like two weeks, and the, I had like two dates planned, and they both, like, flagged sign up, they both didn't show up. Like one apologized, like something came up with work, and then the other one, I happened on the other one. The other one was just acting weird, like, oh, I won't find parking, they can we meet somewhere else? And like, I was like, I don't drive. And then like, it was just so messy, unnecessarily. And then I was like, you know what? It seems like it's an inconvenience to you. So I'd rather we don't meet. And then he unmatched me. Bro, rude. So yeah, that didn't happen. But yesterday, as in Israel, Saturday, I went on a date with this really nice guy. He's 34. He works in construction, uh, like as a freelance contractor. He is 34. He's from the Middle East, Sudan specifically, uh, like his family and stuff. Um, but he's been in Sydney, like, well, he's been in Australia since he was like eight years old. Ew. Um, so like like australia is all that he knows and he's a christian um the only thing he's like not um necessarily i feel like he's from a more traditional christian family like orthodox christianity uh, with the elders and hymns and stuff with i'm from a more charismatic type of church um and he was telling me like they're so traditional like if an Asian person were to walk in, that person would be the talk of the whole year because they just stick to their own people and stuff like that. So I don't know how that's going to work, but I had a really good time. 
and he dropped me home. He's just, he just has a really good heart. Like he's just a, he has a really good heart. Like as a human, I like him. Um, then he dropped me home, and then he's like, "Can I get a hug?" I gave him a hug, and then I was like, "He didn't hug me when he got to the restaurant." So <laughs> that's why I don't hug you when I was leaving now. And then he's like, "Kiss," and then I give him a peck. He has a beard. If you know, you know I like guys with a beard. Guys, I don't know why, but I like guys with a beard. I just find it very attractive. Um, so I don't know how that's going to go, how that's going to pan out. Um, I don't know if I'm seeing him again, but I did give him my number. I was laughing a lot. I was laughing a lot. I told my friend that I was laughing a lot. He just has a really good heart. Like He's very considerate. Um, yeah, I like him. So that's what's happening in the dating world. Other than that, um, good. The only thing when it comes to dating that God has been confronting me about is this kissing. So I I kiss when I'm dating someone and hold hands and stuff, but that's as far as I go. Um, so that has just been a conversation in my prayer life. Like God just been telling me like, what's the point of kissing? Because if it's gonna lead me to sin or to sex before marriage and stuff like that, what, why am I doing it? Why am I putting myself in that position in the first place? Like, you know, like, you know, the Bible says, if your eye causes you to sin, um, take it out. If your, um, your hand causes you to sin, then cut it off. So it's just like if kissing could lead you to actually things getting heated, ends up to sex. That's how sex starts. You don't just boom and have sex. You start with kissing. So if say, kissing can lead you to sex, um, why are you doing it? Cut it off. You know. So that's the one thing that I've just been convicted about. And I'm just like, Lord, help me with that. Literally after kissing him, I got home and I was like, oh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten. <laughs> but that's that. That's my dating life. Um what else? Nothing nothing crazy. Oh, I did also go out with this guy on a date with this other guy. Very sweet gentleman. He has three kids, he's been divorced, he's a lawyer. Reminded me of another guy who had two boys who was divorced, he was a lawyer. So even when he was talking, I was just getting triggered the whole time. I was just like mm -mm. We compose this other guy from Pretoria. I can't actually. I don't. I can't. Um, and he was just talking like he also mentioned something about my hair because I had my wig on. And then he was like, Ah, yeah, women who have blonde, black women who have blonde hair are like trying to be white. I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Why try to be white? Like, yeah, yeah. One, I'm not even having that conversation like the hair conversation amongst black men and the makeup conversation for me is just ridiculous i'm not even wasting my time having it with you so fight with somebody else um so yeah i i didn't follow up after that like he tried like meeting me again but i was really honestly not interested after that comment just was just very childish and um just showed a little bit of a lack of emotional intelligence. I'm a woman wearing a wig, and you're telling me I'm trying to be white. I'm here, like, okay, anyway. Um, so that didn't work out. So the only thing update here is I'm not dating anyone. I'm still single. I just went on a date yesterday, and it was great. That's all the drama. <laughs> uh, and what else? Church has been good. I went to Hillsong. Um, not last week, the week before, that was really nice, and that's when I like I really had a really big encounter with God. Like I woke up and I wanted to go to Hillsong instead of Kingdom City, and I didn't know why, but like literally when I got there, I exactly knew why I was there. Um, so I'm happy about that. I think I loved that. That's when I went to Sheen. No, that's not when I went to Sheen. It was the week before that. But yes, I, I really had a good time last week at Kingdom City. It was great. This week was a little bit rocky um, only because as a person who escaped a cult when you take a scripture from the Bible and you are trying to make it relatable to people and then you add things or take things out and you replace them with other words so that it's easier to understand for me that that kind of 
is not okay, just fundamentally, the Bible tells us in Revelation, do not add or take away from this book. And there's consequences to that. So it's not like, don't do that. Don't put a scripture up and then say, okay, cool, let's take this part out. Let's take that part out. And then let's replace it with these words. So that really disturbed me, to be honest. But I also didn't want it to distract from the fact that I was learning something from that sermon that God has been saying to me. Literally, the sermon title was Making Room, Make Room for God. If you remember what I shared the other time, last week on the blog, it was also talking about giving God access into your life. So I knew that God was saying something to me, and I didn't want what was happening to distract me from the message, you know, what God was saying. So I really had a good time, but that did rub me the wrong way. Um, yeah. Oh, home life. My housemate, my friend, Sandy, has moved out. She found a really good place for herself and I'm proud of her. That is why we are here, to elevate, to upgrade, to grow, to prosper and all those things. And I'm really happy for her, but it did cause me a little bit of uh, anxiety trying to think of like, okay, now I need to find somebody else. Financially, bills and everything is gonna come to me, of which I wasn't used to. So I really was just like praying a lot. Like the night she told me, I was like praying and I like slept with a headache and like, you know, but I was like, you know what, Lord, you're faithful and true and my trust is in you. So it will happen. And literally like two days later, someone was like, hey, there's a new girl who just relocated here, also from South Africa. Her name is Fiona and she's looking for a place. Like, do you understand how God works, guys? Do you understand how this man works? So I was really happy and grateful to like have a response and to have God just like show up for me even in that time when I was like really worried about finances. Um, so yeah, also I'm using this Garnier brightening serum thing. This is my face wash. It's almost finished actually. Um, and I use this thing, I put gel on this thing, and then it does what I need it to do. So like exfoliates your skin, so you press it at the back, and then it vibrates, so it exfoliates your skin. I should probably take off this week, but I don't want to. Um, yeah, so I have a new housemate, she is lovely, she is amazing. She sings, she has a beautiful voice. So I might post some singing videos on TikTok. You better be following me on TikTok, by the way. Um, so yeah. Missing water, missing water. There we go. I probably want to see. Sorry, I don't really have a mirror in front of me. There we go, there we go. Um, yeah, so uh, she moved in literally yesterday, we went to the shops, tried to get her sit help in and things like that, so um, oh, uh, yeah, she's actually cooking right now. I'll see if she wants to be on the vlog, I'll ask her. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm happy God came through there. And she loves the Lord. Guys, your God really answers prayers, hey? She loves the Lord. She has a really good relationship with God from what I could tell. We went to church together and the conversation afterwards was really like fulfilling and I'm like okay, this like you can tell when someone actually is intentional about their relationship with God and like sometimes other people just go to church. Um, but that's it. So I'm really happy. Um, yeah, I'm praying that we become friends and stuff and it's like we're in a foreign country but I want to make genuine friends and I'm really hoping that God places us and gives us wisdom to live together but also to make a sustainable friendship. Yeah. Oh, I'm a of Now, on the work front, things have been quite challenging, like not 
things are bad, but things have just been challenging, man. Like, I've put on leave to go home in December, well, in November, and for my birthday, and you guys know how things go, the 30th and stuff, so, um, it was just being challenging trying to get leave sorted out and approved like when i think we found a solution and something else comes up but just company regulations about because i want to work from south africa in november and then actually take my leave for december so just giving me time at home and also allowing me to do the celebration and stuff in november which is closer to my birthday um so it's just been a little bit um, of back and forth that I actually, to be honest, did not expect. Um, I feel like sometimes, yeah, I just didn't expect it to just, I didn't think it would be such a big conversation, uh, to be honest with you, and maybe that's on me, and I should have paid more attention um, to those type of things. Oh, sorry. Um, and I didn't. So that's been a little bit overwhelming for me because I've booked my flights and I'm just like, I thought everything was sorted. Now this is coming back again. Um, so please pray with me for that part so I can actually go home um, the time I need to be at home. And oh, I'm using this Garnier Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Um, yeah, this is probably like my favorite thing ever. Uh, it really does work, it helps um, decrease your spots and stuff. And I have a lot of spots, probably you guys can see. Um, so yeah, and I made a really um, crucial uh, error. I won't say mistake, because okay, it's a mistake because it was not intentional. Um, but I feel like a mistake will make it sound worse than it actually is. I made an error. I am a producer by profession, so I make commercials. So before a commercial goes on air and like you guys see it, I need to check it and make sure it's happy, it's in good condition. So I did not check this one commercial. I don't know why for the life of me. I'm trying to think, was I busy that Friday? Was I overwhelmed? And honestly, I wasn't. Um, and I think it's just a force of habit, like, oh, it's no, like, it's, I just looked at it and then it was fine. So I had one change done to it, but I didn't look again to see if the change was correct. Um, and I sent it and the ad, um, yeah. So that was really, like that really, like I've never, that has never happened to me before, like in my career. So I was really like beating myself up about it. Um, this is the same cream, by the way, vitamin C serum. Um, but this is like a lotion version of it So that one is a serum. This is a, a, a Serum cream, so I, I put them both and it has What, what is this thing here? Yeah, sunscreen. That's sunscreen protection thing Vitamin C and pineapple. So I like it. It actually I like wearing this even if it's not sunny Like to put just I just like wearing it. It just feels good on my skin um, But that's the last step of my normal routine um, so because of that mistake, I was really beating myself up for it and I had a meeting with my boss and manager and like I spoke to the other producers, everyone was very supportive and obviously I fixed it, like it happened and then realized what had happened and then I fixed it as like immediately, um, but it's really not nice and also just dropped my confidence a little bit because I'm just like, how can I make such a foolish mistake, my friend? Like, how could you do that? Like, that was for me the wildest thing ever. But I was trying not to, yeah. I gave myself grace um, the next, not even the next day, like maybe a week, maybe like actually felt better on Thursday. And this had happened on Monday. So it was just really not good. Um, yeah, but because of that, it was like, Weird vibes, like, yeah, there's weird vibes. Um, so I'm really praying for favor again, but also that I, 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 I like don't make such a, um, uh, I don't over make such an oversight again, um, and I'm more aware of it now. So 
that really bothered me guys you know it really bothered me like i really take pride in my work and i learn as much as i can and i ask questions and i raise my hand when i am overwhelmed so the fact that none of those things were happening and i still made this oversight really bothered me um but yeah that's what's happening at work what else is there in my life guys my life is so boring we hit 150 um, followers on TikTok. And now we are trying to get to 10K here. Yeah, we're trying to get to 10K here. Ah, the last thing is I am planning my 30th birthday in South Africa, but while I'm here in Sydney, and that has just been giving me so much stress. Like, I understand it's just for planning a birthday overseas. Like, I, like this guy, like my biggest thing is one, I've paid for the um, cinematographer, like the videographer, I've paid a deposit for a camera person to take pictures and then there's a location that I really want to use and my friend who works there, they don't want me to pay the deposit and that's what's kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety. They're like, oh, I'll pay the deposit closer to the day and in my head I'm like, what if something else comes or something better comes? And next thing I don't have a venue. But she keeps on reassuring me that like, no, it's fine, friend. I've locked it in, it's in the diary, just don't send the money now. So I'm just like it's making me uneasy to be honest with you. Um so I am starting to look again for other venues. Um, which is annoying because that one is really beautiful and it's in Stellenbosch and it is within my budget. So whoa, whoa I'm like yeah stretching myself so we'll see and then i've seen a couple of videos i've also been waiting for a video of it properly because i've been to the property um so i was waiting for an updated video of how it looks now but apart from what is on the website and it looks smaller for my my guest guest list or number of people that are coming so it kind of concerns me so I'm looking again for venue. So if you know of a venue in Cape Town, that is great. Then please put it in the comments below because I need help. As well as decorations. I got one guy to do deco for me and gave me a quote, which he charged me for. Like I understand that people steal your ideas and stuff like that. But when the quote came back, it only had like furniture. Then it had it had like three if not four line items like with no quantity so it's not like 60 chairs or like 50 chairs three tables what what no it just says flowers and then it says backdrop like and i'm just like what if now on the day i get there and i'm like oh where's the welcome sign you're like oh it was not included in the quote i can't say anything because you didn't list what is in the quote you just said furniture you know what i mean so i paid for the quote and he sent it to me but like i wasn't really happy so we're talking on whatsapp to say okay this is included that's not included and, and i was just feeling so insecure about it and also he's in the eastern cape he's in mtata but he does um um events also in cape town so he's also like sourcing from different places and adding his markup to come and deliver and drop and then prepare um, so I feel like there has to be someone in Cape Town who can help me find the decor. And then that's the first person. Then the second person I saw on Facebook and I happened to know her. We used to go to the same church like when I was like in like primary school. I think I was actually Eve, the flower girl at her wedding. Um, so I reached out to her because I see she has now a decoration company. Um, and it looked really beautiful but like it's, she's just so slow she's just taking so long to get back to me and i understand she has a nine to five but my point of actually paying now and doing this now is so that i'm not financially stranded and like financially now in debt because of the celebration you know i wanted to get all my quotes now and start paying it off by the time we get to october i need to be worrying about my return ticket and that's it yeah well, so people are just moving slow guys yo so she sent me a quote and i was like it's missing stuff like the venue doesn't have chairs and tables so can you please include those guys that was two weeks ago like i've asked her to include those two weeks ago 
The other place I like, they don't have availability on the 4th and the 5th of November. Um, well, the whole of November, to be honest with you. So I'm just like, that's the one place. It's the venue and it comes with the deco and everything. That would be amazing. That would be so low. So now I've asked them for the 1st of November and they're like, they have availability. And that is on a Wednesday. Like, I don't think that's a good thing to do considering as people coming from Joburg that are working and my family from different provinces. So and that's probably the one thing that's just giving me a little bit of like concern. Um, I know I have a lot of time so I'm okay but I just want it to be like sorted already and done already. Yeah. So that's where we are for my birthday. Oh, I'm getting my dress done here in Sydney so I can take it home with me because I want to have enough time to get home and start looking for a dress or getting things resized and stuff like that. So I just want to get my dress done here. I went for a fit, like for measurements, found out how much it's going to cost me. So I'm going to be good with that one. The cake, I've paid a deposit. I found a cake I like, I've paid a deposit. I'll finish it off as time goes by. So it's coming together. I just need deco in my venue to actually be confirmed and then I will be happy. Yeah. There's other things to go with this party. My friends who are coming and family who are coming, not everyone's gonna fit in my house. So I'm just also thinking of booking a house like an Airbnb where everyone can just stay there. Even a campsite. You know campsite you sleep there for like three hundred a night or one fifty a night. All of them can sleep there. That's fine. So I'm also contemplating that and thinking of like a what do you call it? A like a taxi, a panta to like pick people up if they all gonna be in one house, drop them at the venue and then from the venue to the house so that it's just all together and it makes sense. And that avoids people getting to your event late and like coming in drips and pieces. So if your whole family has one one time when they get there on time, everyone, and then all your friends get there at the same time, you don't have drips and drabs of people coming. So except one or like four or five other people who are driving there, you know? Smart. But yeah, this is happening with the birthday. What else? I don't think I've missed anything, guys. I did dating, work. I've done all of that. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't follow me on TikTok, or follow me on TikTok, I post there every day. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, sometimes I tell myself, I'm not going to post on TikTok this week. I'm taking a break. And then that weekend, something happens. Like, now. This weekend, today, actually, from, the, from church, we went to the mall to shop with Fiona. And then... We order a DD. Do you know that the DD was a Tesla? What? The DD was a Tesla. So I'm obviously going to document that for TikTok. It's my first time on a Tesla. So if you're not following me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. Um, yeah, and for my birthday, I'm trying to do a photo shoot so I can use the photos for my invites. Right now, I've done save the dates. So I've also reached out to a photographer that is charging me $400 for an hour trial. Donations are welcome. Or if you know someone who can do a photo shoot for me at a cheaper price, please let me know. I'm also contemplating using my phone because it's got really good quality now. Um, just like using the studio in the office. Um, I'm just doing it myself. That could actually really be a really good option. I'll need someone there to help me focus or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. So that is it. How am I doing? I feel like so much is happening to be honest. I don't feel and this in Zanga. I don't feel stable. I feel good because spiritually I'm in a much better place than I have been this year. It's been a very challenging year, to be honest. Like it's been really challenging, I won't lie to you guys. That's why I've just been like occupying my time with creating content, traveling and stuff like that. But spiritually it's been challenging this year. Um, so now I'm, I'm getting myself back 
to it. I'm being intentional about my quiet time and my prayer time. Because honestly, that's all God has asked me to do this year, just to make room for Him. So I am actually doing that now, and it, I feel good. So I feel like there's a lot of moving parts in my life with work, with home. I'm also like helping with like um, um, renovations back home that's living me really broke. So it's just like a lot happening, moving parts, work, home, church, um, new housemates and stuff like that. But my faith is good. Like my relationship with God is in a much better space. So I know everything else will work out for the good of those who love the Lord. So yeah, that is what's been happening. I keep on trying to think, is there anything else? Like, I'll tell you that it's been a lot, but I feel like it's more than this. So I keep on thinking, am I forgiving something? Is there anything I'm forgiving? I don't think so. But that is all. Ne? Anyway, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. And actually hoping that the sound here in this bathroom is good. And my face is clear. Um, I actually haven't checked. All right. I hope you guys are good. Please leave me a comment on how you're doing. Any advice for me? And the hashtag. Now this is my May life update. So hashtag May life update. I appreciate you. I love you. And let's get to 10k. And I will do a giveaway. I did a giveaway at 5k. So I will do another giveaway at 10k. I love you. Love you. Zeniti, I said that's what's gonna be my outro now. Zeniti, Abendi Uza, Bendi Lapa. Okay, that sounded so gangster. Yeah.